Brought to you by wikivd.com Martin Lawrence Early Life The fourth of six children Martin Fitzgerald Lawrence was born on April 16, 1965 in Frankfurt, West Germany to African-American parents who were serving in the U.S. military in West Germany at the time of Martin's birth. Lawrence was named after civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. and U.S. President John F. Kennedy. His parents divorced when he was eight years old, and Lawrence rarely saw his estranged father who worked as a police officer. His mother, Clara, began working several jobs to support her family. During his teen years Lawrence excelled at boxing. Lawrence lived in Queens, New York, and Landover, Maryland and he attended Thomas G. Pullen School of Creative and Performing Arts, Fairmont Heights High School, Eleanor Roosevelt High School, and Friendly High School in Fort Washington, Maryland. Becoming a Mid-Atlantic Golden Gloves boxing contender, he seriously considered a professional career until he suffered a broken eye that prompted him to reconsider career. Lawrence ended up moving to New York City and found his way to the legendary The Improv. Shortly after appearing at The Improv, Lawrence won a performance spot on Star Search. He did well on the show and made it to the final round but did not win. However, executives at Columbia Pictures Television saw Martin's performance and offered him the role of Morris in What's Happening Now. This was his first acting job. Upon cancellation of that show Lawrence found bit parts in various films and television series. His breakthrough role was a see and do the right thing. Other roles followed in films such as the House Party series Talkin' Dirty After Dark and the Eddie Murphy vehicle Boomerang. During this period, Entertainment mogul Russell Simmons selected him to host the groundbreaking series Deaf Comedy Jam on HBO. Deaf Comedy Jam gave many comedians mainstream exposure. During his stint with Deaf Comedy Jam, Lawrence appeared in his own hit series Martin which aired on Fox. The show ran from 1992 to 1997 and was an enormous success. Martin was the flagship of Fox's Thursday night lineup, which drew millions of viewers away from NBC's must-see TV lineup. He hosted Saturday Night Live on February 19, 1994, where he made crude remarks about women's genitalia and personal hygiene. The monologue was completely edited out of NBC reruns and syndicated versions and Lawrence was banned from the show for life. Martin's ratings continued to skyrocket so much that Fox became more of a contender against NBC and came closer to being considered among the top television networks. After Martin ended its run in 1997, Lawrence found work in comedy films. He often starred as the second lead opposite actors including Edie Murphy, Danny DeVito, and Tim Robbins. Many of his films were blockbusters at the box office including Nothing to Lose, Life Blue Streak and Big Mama's House. He also starred in critical and box office failures, including Black Knight and National Security. Regardless his salary steadily increased to over $10 million per film role. He continues to work in film with such films as Big Mama's House 2 which opened at number one at North American box office, and grossed almost $28 million its first weekend and Wild Hogs, in which he played a bored suburbanite seeking adventure on the open road in a biker comedy. Alongside John Travolta, Tim Allen and William H. Macy, in 2006, Lawrence appeared on Inside the Actors Studio during which Lawrence briefly brought back to life some of the characters he had portrayed on Martin. In 2008, Lawrence starred in Disney's College Road Trip co-starring with Raven Simone. It was his first G-rated film, but not his first appearance in a children's film. He supplied a voice 
four open season opposite Ashton Kutcher. At the 2009 BET Awards he appeared in a spoof movie trailer with Jamie Foxx for a fictional movie, The Skank Robbers that featured their respective television characters Shenana Jenkins and Ugly Wonder. In 2010 Fox announced that it was producing a film based on The Squetch, featuring Fox Lawrence and actress Halle Berry. In 2011, Lawrence reprised his role as FBI agent Malcolm Turner in Big Mama's Like Father Like Son, the third film in the Big Mama's House series. In January 2013 it was announced that Lawrence and Kelsey Grammer are considering pairing up to star in a comedy for Lionsgate TV. The series will likely follow the same production model as Charlie Sheen's Anger Management, which is also produced by Lionsgate TV. That show was recently given a Hardy Back 90 pickup following its initial 10-episode order. In March 2013 it was announced that television producers, writers Robert L. Boyette, and Robert Horn are on board writing and executive producing. They have worked on the popular hit sitcoms Family Matters, Perfect Strangers, Full House, and Designing Women. Partners pairs the two actors as Chicago lawyers from vastly different backgrounds who unexpectedly meet in court on the worst day of their lives. According to a network description, David A. Arnold has been tapped to write Arnold has written for television shows including Raising Whitley Meet the Browns, The Ricky Smiley Show and more. Edie Patterson has been cast as a regular and will play Verushka a busty, sexy Russian woman who co-owns the massage shop next door. Danielle A. Watts will play the daughter of Lawrence's character. The show premiered August 4, 2014 and lasted one season. In August 2014 Martin Lawrence confirmed on Conan O'Brien that Bad Boys 3 is almost done being written. Relationships and family Lawrence was engaged to actress Lark Voorhees in 1993. He married Miss Virginia USA, Patricia Southall in 1995. Lawrence and Southall have one child together, daughter Jasmine Page. They divorced in 1997. In 1997 Lawrence began a relationship with Shamika Gibbs. They married on July 10, 2010 at Lawrence's Beverly Hills home. Actors Eddie Murphy and Denzel Washington were among the 120 wedding guests. Ah, with a mini Ripperton classic Love and You. Lawrence and Gibbs have two daughters, Iana Faith and Amara Trinity. Lawrence filed for divorce from Gibbs on April 25, 2012, citing irreconcilable differences and asking for joint legal and physical custody of the children. Lawrence owns a farm near Purcellville, Virginia. For many years he owned a large mansion in the exclusive Beverly Park community but sold it in June 2012 following his divorce. Legal Issues and Health Problems In July 1995 while on the set filming A Thin Line Between Love and Hate, Lawrence lashed out in a violent rage and was then hospitalized at Cedars sinai Medical Center. On May 8, 1996 he became increasingly erratic, and was arrested after he brandished a pistol in the middle of an intersection on Ventura Boulevard, in Los Angeles screaming they're trying to kill me. He was again hospitalized, with his public relations agent citing exhaustion and dehydration as the reasons for this episode. In March 1997 Lawrence was arrested after punching a man in a Hollywood nightclub. During August 1999 Lawrence slipped into a three-day coma after collapsing from heat exhaustion while jogging in 100-degree heat in preparation for Big Mama's house while wearing heavy clothing and a plastic suit. He recovered in the hospital after nearly dying due to a body temperature of 107 degrees Fahrenheit. His breathing assisted by a ventilator. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?